I'm going to create a Pareto diagram using Microsoft Excel 2007. I put the data in. I have the problems on the in uh, column A. I have the counts in column B. And I've used the data sort option to put the uh, counts in order from largest to smallest. And I created a total of the counts. In column C, I've calculated the percent of each row just by dividing the uh, row by the total and converting this column to percent format and then uh, summing the rows and dividing by the total for each subsequent row. So if you look at what's in uh, the second row of the data table, I've summed the 32% plus 200 divided by the total and that gives me 54%. And now I want to create a Pareto diagram from these data. So I select all the data except the total. I don't want the total in the chart. I go to the Insert menu, and I'll say Insert Column, and I'll choose that chart. Now, the data, uh, this chart is not quite right. We do have both data series in here. But what I need to do is I need to have this axis be in the cumulative percent, and this axis needs to go from 0 to the total, not from 0 to 350. So what I need to do is I need to select the cumulative percent. And you'll find that you can hardly do that down here because it's too tiny. The percent goes from 0 to 1, and the scale goes clear to 300. So to select it, I select it in the legend column, and then I right click, <clears throat> and I tell it I want to um, format the data series. And I want to create a secondary axis. So I click that, click close. Now I have the secondary axis, but the cumulative percent is a bar chart, and I want it to be a line chart. So again, I'll select the data, and I'll say I want to change the ch series chart type, and I want to change it to line. I click OK, and I have a line chart. Now what I want to do is I want to have this scale go from 0% to 100%, not to 120. So I select the data on the right axis, right click and I'll say format the axis and what I want to do is I want to change the axis options to go from 0 fixed to 1.0 which is 100 percent and I'll click close so now this axis is scaled properly all that's left to do is to scale the right vertical axis so again I select it I say format data right click I fix the lower minimum at zero. The maximum I want to go to the total, 925. Hit the return key. And there you have a Pareto diagram created using Microsoft Excel.